spiny softshell turtle is, was made endangered this year. And it's amazing that you can be around in London and never know about it. And so this is my first summer doing it and being able to work with this species and see how many nests you can collect that would otherwise have perished from predators or poaching. And so it's been really gratifying to be able to see the nests through um, to hatching and releasing them. 41. 36. Every day we come in and we check the incubators for any turtle nests that have hatched. And once they're hatched, every single turtle in the nest gets um, weighed and measurements taken uh, and gets put into our turtle database so we have an idea of numbers. And then uh, once that happens, we put them in bins so that they're ready to be released. We're at actually one of our release sites for the Eastern Spiny Softshell Turtle. Normally we look for areas that are muddy, slightly, like a little bit of water in the area so they have enough um, depth to reach their nose up to the surface without having to swim all the way up to the top to take a breath. Um, but with the case of high waters, we're releasing in a little bit of vegetation more or less so they have somewhere to hide under and something to grab onto. Nice if you can get them just scooting under the water. So, oh, like that! So, wait, do you want to do the last? Honestly, it's been great working with people that are so good at explaining everything to you, especially if you're a beginner. So, I'd say I've learned like everything from turtles to the plants around me, birds, anything you can think of. Scott and Caleb kind of helped us learn that, and it's honestly been great.